John P. Key. <laughs> Amen. We thank God for Jesus Amen. on today and for each and every one of you. Amen. You are beautiful people, the people of God, and we serve a great big God. Amen. 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 He is the source of our strength. Amen. Amen. And he is the strength of our lives. Amen. 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 We thank God for our pastors and leaders and all of the people of God everywhere. Uh, I'm going to get right into the word today and, and talk about uh, faith. faith. Yes. Uh, good old fashioned faith. Yeah. Uh, faith that moves mountains. Faith, faith that moves mountains. Uh, we are a miracle people. Amen. Thank you for those Amen. amens. I appreciate that. We are a miracle people because we are miracle people. Uh, we should expect miracles in every area of our lives. Amen. 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 That a miracle in the life of the believer should not be a surprise. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 A miracle in the life of a believer should be the manifestation of what we expected God was going to do. Yes. The thing about the miracle is we don't know how he's going to do it. That's right. Right. I, don't, I don't know what God is going to do, but I know God is going to do something. All right. So when God does what he does, we should, be, uh, we should rejoice because we appreciate God for doing what he did. Right. But we shouldn't be in shock. Right. Like, I can't believe he did. Right. <laughs> right. Amen. You see, Amen. see where we get thrown off sometimes? Amen. Amen. We have that, oh my God, I can't believe he did it type of a moment mm -hmm. rather than, I knew he was going to do something. Right. Right. Like, you, all, you got that cousin or somebody that's always trying to surprise or trick somebody, mm -hmm. and you know, you know he's up to something. Mm -hmm. They're going to jump out and scare you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know that you're in here somewhere. I know. When they jump out, you say, I knew you were in here. I didn't know what you were going to do, but I knew you were up to something. Mm -hmm. Right? And how do you know God is up to something? Amen. Right now, right Amen. now, right now in your life, Amen. God is up to something. Amen. Amen. Y'all ain't with me yet. I, I, I want Amen. you to know God is up to something that Amen. really will blow your mind. Amen. 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 You, you, just, you just expecting God to go along like an ordinary Day is just happens to be Sunday, and but God is going to do something that you yeah. never yeah. imagined that He even would do, yeah. Amen. Yeah. In your life, He He wants to be that kind of special, yeah. and your He He wants to move in a way that exceeds your expectation, yeah. that is beyond your imagination, yeah. that 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 takes you and blows your mind. Yeah. Amen. 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 And and faith says, I know He can. Amen. Amen. Faith says, I believe he will. Yes, he will. Mm -hmm. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I just know he's God like that. Oh, yeah. Amen. All right. Y'all, let's, let's, uh, let's get over to Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11. And deal with this a little bit. You all there, Mark chapter 11? Almost there? We're going to go down to 20. Amen. And we'll read 20 through 24. 20 through 24. Mark chapter 11, 20 through 24. You, somebody, you got it? Yeah. What does it say? In the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the root. When, in the morning when they passed by, uh-huh, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter 
calling to remembrance, saith unto him, uh -huh. Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursest is withered away. Uh -huh. And Jesus answering saith unto him, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he has shall, he, he shall come to pass. Mm -hmm. He shall have whatever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye will receive them, and ye shall have them. Amen. Let's go back to 21. Let's go back to 21 and, and, and read that again. Peter. And Peter calling to remembrance, saying unto him, Master, behold, the fig tree which thou cursest is withered away. Peter remembered that Jesus cursed the tree. Mm -hmm. But when he saw the tree cursed, it tripped him out. He was there when Jesus cursed the tree, but when he saw the manifestation of what Jesus said, it surprised him. Jesus! Trip off this! That tree that you cursed is already withered away. Trip off that. And, 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 and sometimes when we see God do what he said, right. it, it trips us out. It's like, it's like you want to say, God, you did that? Yeah. Not God, you did that. Yeah. <laughs> but like, God, you did that? Yeah. Like, like you cursed it for real? Like it's, like it's already dead? Right, right. We just walked past this tree just a couple of days ago. Yeah. And in the time it took us to walk past the tree and come back, it's already happened? Yeah. How, well, how long did it take the tree to die? After Jesus said, die. Right. Wow. How long did it take the miracle to manifest after Jesus said, manifest? Right. How long does it take for change to happen when Jesus calls for change? It's, it's, it, it's not a matter that time is with that withstanding the miracle. Mm -hmm. It's faith All right. Amen. that withstands the miracle. All right. mm -hmm. How do you know that, Apostle? Because I listen to Jesus. Amen. I listen to Jesus. And when Peter got to talking crazy, talking about trip off that, what, what did Jesus say, Carolyn, in 22? And Jesus answered. And then Jesus answered Peter when he was talking about trip off that mm -hmm. and all that. Jesus answered Peter and what he said. He said, have faith in God. Jesus said, have faith. Yeah. Now, now, Jesus is speaking to what Peter did not say. All right. Okay. Peter did not say, I don't have faith. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't. Peter was a man of faith. All right. This is walk on water, Peter. This is truly thou art the Christ, Peter. This, uh, this is Peter. This ain't this ain't Thomas. Right. right. This is Peter. Right. Mm -hmm. This is I dream, drop my nets and follow you, Peter. Right. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And, and so when Jesus <laughs> responds to Peter, his response to Peter is have yeah. faith. Uh -huh. Which yeah. means that Jesus is calling Peter on the fact that you don't really have faith. All right. Wow. Yeah. If you had faith, you would not be surprised by seeing what I said come to pass. Right. Right. 
And in the same way he's speaking to Peter, he's, he's low-key speaking to us. Amen. He's dry-snitching on us by using Peter as the example. Yes, sir. Wow. He's saying Peter, but he means Marquise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Wow. He's, saying he's saying to Carolyn, have faith in God. Wow. It's, it, you think I'm talking about Peter, but really I'm talking about you. He's talking about you. He's talking about you. You right there. Yeah, he's talking about you. You, you thought you were just watching, but really he was saying, have faith in God. All right. All right. Because faith is the missing element in your experience so that you don't see God doing what he said. Watch this. When God said it, it was already done. Right. Two people, at least two people should have shouted right there. You, you should have jumped up and ran down Lusha right there. <laughs> when God said it, yeah. Yeah. I, yes, I might run down Lusha. Amen. Right. Right. I, I'm going to say it one more time. When God said it, yes, amen. Yeah. not after the fasting and the praying, not after we begged him, not after we served our penance, not after we cast out the devil, not after we touched and agreed, not after we came together and called a solemn assembly. When he yes. said it, yes. right. Yes. Right. it was already done. Yes. Amen. I know the problem you have, the problem you have, and you don't understand what faith is. So let me explain to you what faith is, then you understand the struggle you have with the time lapse. In what it happened. So faith is the substance yeah. of things hoped for, yeah. and yeah. faith is the evidence of things that are not seen. Yeah. So the problem you have it is, is that when he said it, you didn't see it. All right. All right. And so because you didn't see it, you didn't believe that it was dead. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. You thought it was still alive because you didn't see it die. All right. But then when you came back and saw that it was dead, yes, you surprised right. because you really never thought right. it was going to die. Right. See, right. the same way that Peter is looking at this tree mm -hmm. is how you are looking at certain things in your life All that right. God has spoken to. Yeah. But right. when he spoke to it, it All didn't right. look like you thought it ought to look. Yeah. Right. So because it didn't look like you thought it ought to look, you gave up on the manifestation of it actually doing what God said it was right. going to do. Right. And you right. have walked away from it, right. not believing that God has already right. dealt with. There are some things. Yeah. There are some things that you have forgotten about yeah. that God has already dealt with. Right. There are some things yeah. that God is working on that you don't even believe that he remembers. Thank you, Lord. Right. Thank you. The moment he spoke it, it was done. Yes, sir. Yes. In, in the beginning, there was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Yes, yes. All things were made by him. You know how he did it. He said, let there be. Let there be. And then right after he said, let there be, then there was. Yes. He said, let there be light, and there was yes. light. Yes, sir. Yes. He didn't say, let there be light, and we have to see how it's going to play out. Right. 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 Amen. We hope light come after a while. Just keep on trusting God. We'll see if ever there will be light. You just don't know. God might bring light if he want to bring light. He can do anything. We just have to believe in the girl. We'll see. By the by and by, when the morning comes, maybe there will be light. God did not depend on our approval or, or whether or not we saw it come to pass or whether or not it happened in the time frame that we would imagine. But when he spoke it, it was done. Amen. When he said, let there be, the Latin was already beginning to be. Before he said what to be, it was already being. Yes, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Why are you so excited, Cannon? Because I remember some things that God spoke. And, and, and because he spoke it and I didn't see it, amen, my eyes would lie to me. Your, your eyes might lie to you because your eyes don't see what God did. Ah, but God is doing what you can't see. And you got to know by faith that even when I don't see it, faith is the evidence of what I can't see. Hallelujah. Just God spoken word is the proof that it's going to come to pass. He's not man that he should lie. He's not the son of man. 
heart. Yes, he will. Yes, yes, yes. Shall he not do it? Yes, he will. Has he spoken it? Yes, right. Shall he not bring it to pass? Yes, he will. We just talking about a fig tree. Wow. <laughs> not a game. But fig tree. Not cash back. But a fig tree. I know y'all get that way. <laughs> Amen. We talking about a fig tree. Not, not an oak tree. Big tree. Just a fig tree. Mm -hmm. And you surprised mm -hmm. that it, it could withstand what God said. Mm -hmm. Jesus responded. He said, have faith. Have faith in God. Because, mm -hmm. because, what Carol, what he said, because in the 23rd, third verse. For said, verily I say unto you. He said, because I'm telling you. That whosoever should say unto the mountain. If, if you will speak to the mountain, you, you tripping. Be thy removed. You, you, think, you think that the fig tree is a big deal. Mm -hmm. So, so you, still, you still tripping off fig trees in your life. You still mm -hmm. saying, oh my God, I can't believe he actually did it. Mm -hmm. you, you still so consumed with the fig tree that you don't see that there's a bigger manifestation of God that's waiting to be in your life that's, that's, that its only barrier is your faith. Amen. That's, that's why Jesus said, have faith, Peter. Right. You, tri you tripping off a fig? This is nothing. Right. Yeah. If, if you think this tree is something, then you could speak to the whole mountain yeah. full of trees. Yeah. You know how many fig trees is on the mountain? Mm -hmm. And you you amazed that I'm speaking to one tree. Mm -hmm. We'll come back in a minute. Amen. 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 All right, all right. So you you <laughs> tripping off of, of one tree. Yeah. Right. And God said, I got a mountain oh, yeah. full of trees. Full of trees. And, and you could speak to them, you, not me. Because you think I'm doing something big. Mm -hmm. Amen. You think, you think I'm doing something big. You could speak to this whole mountain mm -hmm. and tell this mountain to get up. Mm -hmm. and, and get out of the mountain and go down to the sea right. and jump in. Mm -hmm. you, could, you could tell the mountain. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't have to push the mountain. No, you don't have to drag the mountain. No, right. You don't have to make the mountain. No. You can just speak to the mountain. Right. And the mountain in response to your words wow. will get up mm -hmm. with the trees mm -hmm. and jump in the sea. Yes. And you're talking to me about one tree. tree. Mm -hmm. Have faith. Have faith in God. Have faith. So somebody say it with me. Have faith. Have faith. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. It's a, it's a lot of stuff that's weighing on us right now because we still trying to wait for God to do something that He's already spoken to. Yes, that's amen. Amen. Now, now God is trying to set us up. This is training. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. In uh, case you didn't know, them, them three years of Jesus' ministry when we were doing all this here, mm -hmm. the, that's called training. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. That's called field training. Yes, <laughs> he, he was prepared. He could have jumped on the cross three years ago uh -huh. and done the work of salvation. Right. The, the salvation part wasn't, was easy. Mm -hmm. It wasn't fun, but it was easy. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But, but, but the training part is what he's doing right now. Yeah. Peter, I need you to have faith in God. Yes. Yes. Amen. Uh, because because if, if you speak to the mountain, mm -hmm. it'll jump in the sea. Yes. Peter could be confused and saying, why do I need to speak to the mountain when I have you? Right. Right. I'm preaching better than y'all acting yes. this morning. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, we we, we want to know why it is 
that, that I need to speak to something when the Lord is there. Some of us right now, we're waiting on the Lord to move our mountain. All right. Wow. Hallelujah. We're waiting on God to do it for us. Mm -hmm. We're waiting on God to perform it. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for a miracle. Mm -hmm. The sky is the limit mm -hmm. to what I can have. Mm -hmm. Amen. I see the invisible. I feel the intangible. I'm looking for a miracle. <laughs> do it, Lord. Mm -hmm. And we're waiting on God to move a mountain. And God, because he's in training mode, is looking at you. Look at the mountain. Right. Right. All right. And you saying, Lord, some of y'all can really hoop real good when you need God to do so. You say, oh, Lord, move this mountain I need. Huh? Y'all know. Y'all know how we do. Y'all get in the closet and y'all can pray. Uh, you can call on the Lord until the Lord move on your behalf. Oh, Lord. Come on now. I need you to move this. Do it for me. Do it, God. Ah, call it on your name. Right? And then while you do all of that, God stand there and watch you. All right, do all that carrying on. Mm -hmm. He see you out there talking. He say, pray talking. <laughs> he say, oh, talk to the Lord tonight. I need to move in my situation. Oh, there's a mountain in front of me. He say, go ahead on talking. He say, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make this a mountain move. I'm calling on you, Jesus. Oh, right. <laughs> And then he said there, he called the angel. Come here, listen to her pray. Ooh, 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 ooh. And she gets through doing all of that. And then he sits there, he's like, boy, all the angels, you listen to her, boy. What key is that? Right. <laughs> Isn't she going to go higher? When she get through doing all of that. They say, oh, well, she threw. Yeah. Let's go back to what we were doing. Well, why don't he jump down and, and move our mountain? Why? Why the, why, hello. Why, why doesn't he just step on in? Because he said, if you have faith. Right. Mm -hmm. Then you could speak to the mountain. Yes. And, and the mountain will get up in response to your words. If, 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 if God always moves your mountain, you will become dependent 100% on him to move everything in your life. And there's some things that's in front of you that you're supposed to take authority over. Amen. 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 In his name. Yeah. Amen. You, you're actually responsible for this mountain. Right. Yeah. Amen. This is a miracle that you're responsible for. Amen. Amen. Uh, this is a job for you. Yes, Amen. Amen. And you can't just keep taking your job and put it off on him. Amen. Because he called you to do the job. Amen. Amen. And when he called you to do the job, it was because he had empowered you to do the thing that he had assigned you to do. Amen. But the problem is, you don't believe that when he spoke over you, uh -huh. that it was done. Thank you. you thought the fig tree was a big deal. Mm -hmm. yes, what about what he said about you? Uh -huh. If he can tell the fig tree to die, he can surely tell you to live. Right. Amen. Amen. If he can, if he can, if he can take life from a fig tree, he can definitely give you power. Amen. But but we're still waiting for God to do something that He's already spoken. Right. And the thing that's missing is not God's will concerning the situation; it's your faith concerning the situation. So the mountain remains in the place that it's in 
Not because God won't move it, but because you don't have faith. Amen. Amen. And after a while, I wish I had a long time to preach on this. I probably should have done like three days on this. Because after a while, the mountain begins to irritate you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. That's it. Yeah, the, 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 I am sick of this mountain. Uh -huh. Somebody need to do something about it. That's why, that's why we want them to bring the high places down and the crooked places straight. Because we're tired of wrestling with mountains. And, and God is saying, if you only have faith. Yes, yes, if you only had faith, the mountain thing that's in your life, you could move that thing. Right. But instead of moving it, you're wrestling right now with some things that should be moved. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, you're, you're struggling with some things that should be over. Right. Hallelujah. You're, you're tired of some stuff that should be in the sea. Amen. Amen. Lord. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's it. It's not that God won't do it. It's that you don't believe. Speak to this thing. Yeah, if you had, if you had faith, mm -hmm. you would speak. Let me show you what he said. You could speak to this mountain and say, "Be thou removed yeah. and yeah. cast, cast yeah. into the sea, mm -hmm. and shall not yeah. doubt yeah. in yeah. you." Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. if you had, if you had faith, mm -hmm. whoever say to this mountain and not doubt in his heart right. but believe yes. that those things which he saith shall come to pass right. he shall have whatever he saith right. ladies and gentlemen I call this the acid test okay. it's what God does when, when he, he, he don't ask a question he just watches the results of the test If this is faith, mm -hmm. then the mountain will move. Mm -hmm. If you don't doubt in your heart, right. then the mountain will move. Yes. Mm -hmm. put, a, put a pin right there. And remember when he sent them out two by two. Mm -hmm. And when he right. sent them out and he said, go out there and cast out devils. Mm -hmm. And he lay hands on the sick and yep. do all those things, right? Mm -hmm. and, he, and he sent them out. And, and when they went out, all of a sudden, they were laying hands on the sick, and the sick were recovered. People that was blind was no longer blind. People that were lame were able to walk. It wasn't just the Jesus thing, because this was training. Because he knew he was leaving, but they had to be trained to do the job after he was gone. So it can't just be the Jesus show that we just show up and wait and see what Jesus is going to do today. Because Jesus is doing it so that he can demonstrate what you should be doing. So that when he's gone, these things and greater things than these shall ye do. But the problem is, is that we're still operating without faith. So we're waiting to All see right. him do it right. because we can't believe that he would actually do it with me. So when they came back, they came back telling Jesus, it's amazing. <laughs> we was out there and somebody was blind and I prayed and they could see. Yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> they were deaf and I did a little thing and prayed and they could hear. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was devils in people. And at our words, yes. mm -hmm. the devils came out of the people. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, that's exactly what he sent you to do. <laughs> Why are we surprised when what God sent us to do happens? What did we think? What did we expect? Has he said it? Yeah. Shall he not do it? Yeah. it the, the, the acid test is telling on us and saying we don't really believe. Now this, this don't kick you out the Jesus club. 
This don't mean you're not saved. Yeah. This doesn't mean what he what he's saying is that there's a there's a, a faith issue. Yeah. Many of us right now we're living with a faith deficiency. We know God, we believe God, but but we don't really have faith in God. Amen. Yeah. amen. Even if I'm saying amen for you, amen. y'all was kind of stingy right there. Amen. We believe God. <coughs> we believe He's God of heaven and earth and amen. all that stuff. But we don't have faith that that transcends past His hand amen. to our hand. Amen. amen. Transcends past His words to our words. Because then expectation would come. You know who didn't come back looking for the tree? Jesus. He didn't come back and say, let me see about that tree. You know why? Because he knew. As soon as he spoke to the tree, that tree was dead. It didn't, it didn't matter what that tree looked like. Because he knew that tree was dead because it was cursed. And he spoke it. Amen. 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 It's, it's a reason why Jesus said for us to bless people and curse not. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know why? Because Jesus knows mm -hmm. that when you curse people, they actually curse. Right. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Even though you spoke the word idly, mm -hmm. he knows it. Your words are not small things. Mm -hmm. Wow. He has more confidence in your words than you do. So he said, don't be saying, watch out what you say. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Don't give an account of every idle word that you speak. Uh -huh. Them words matter. That's important. Don't be, don't be saying, I'm always going to be like this. Don't ever say, don't ever. Right. Don't, not, don't I'm always going to be broke. I'm never going to have nothing. Don't say that. Don't say that. Because right. wow. your words have power. Yeah. You just don't have enough power. I, I got faith in your words. I got faith enough for your words to say, don't say that. Mm -hmm. And you don't believe your words make a difference, so you just say all kind of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. You okay, speak man. over your children. You speak over your job. Mm -hmm. You speak over your health. You speak over your business. Mm -hmm. you, you, you understand what I'm saying? You speak over your community. You speak over your nation. Watch what you say. Yeah, Be I'm careful, not. little children. What you say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Amen. Maybe the reason why it's so bad is because you keep saying it. Because you know what? You don't doubt in your heart about that. Wow. You don't doubt the bad things. Nope. It's the good things you struggle with speaking to. It's the thing, it's the thing, Carolyn, that makes us give up. We was there last night with Apostle Brown, and, and Apostle Brown started talking about them folks throwing away they they vote, and they, and, and, and amens were scarce. Mm -hmm. Folks ran out of amen. Wow. You know why? Because it spoke to something that we ain't really ready to amen. Mm -hmm. We so we still kind of holding our get out of get out of hell free card. Get out of hell. Or get the hell out of here free card. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. We, we ain't, really, ain't really ready to amen that whole thing. Mm -hmm. And, and so, so you know what? In our heart, we're kind of believing that it might be like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're living in a, a place of fear and not a place of faith. Because <coughs> yes, mm -hmm. if we really believe God, yeah. if we really, somebody said, if we really believe God, we, really believe believe God. God. we wouldn't act like that. We, we wouldn't, wouldn't act, act like that. I just have to make y'all say stuff sometimes just to make sure you... <laughs> You're still with me. Amen. 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 So, so if you don't doubt in your heart you and believe that those things which he yes. saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatever he says. Mm -hmm. yes. 24 says, therefore, I say unto you, whatever you, whatever you, whatsoever you, whatsoever things, what things soever <laughs> that you desire, mm -hmm. when you pray, mm -hmm. believe. believe. Amen. Now, now it's, Jesus 
waste a lot of time. No. 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 Clearly, clearly Jesus is wasting a lot of time. Why would he tell us stuff like this when he knows we already do it? Well. Oh, he know. Oh, he know we don't do it. Oh, I'm glad y'all cleared that up for me. Because mm -hmm. I was thinking Jesus wastes a lot of time telling these people that when they pray, that whatever they whatever they desire, they should believe it. Surely if they're praying, they believe it. Or is it possible that I could be spending a lot of hours in prayer and the whole time I'm praying not believe that God is going to do. Is it possible that my prayer itself is a pacifier? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. That I'm just praying so I can have something to hold on to or maybe something to blame. Mm -hmm. I prayed and it just didn't come to pass like I thought it was. Mm -hmm. It's because you never believed it was. Mm -hmm. You, your mouth was saying stuff and, and your heart never believed that that was going to happen. Wow. That's called lying. Wow. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> yeah. It's in the Old Testament. <clears throat> you can say, you can say, 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 hook a book a book. <laughs> say it. Hook a book a book. See, you can say anything. You can say anything. Anything, you, can, you can not know how to say something and just speak in tongues right. and just say stuff you don't even know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You can say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That don't mean you believe. That's right. That's right. Jesus is not having to struggle with what we say. He's having to struggle with us believing All right. All right. what we say. We can say I'm 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 the rich can say the poor can say I'm rich, but you don't believe it. <laughs> you said it. I mean, you, you say it. Say it. I'm rich. I'm rich. You know what I'm saying? It's rich people in here right now. They won't even say it. You can say it. That's easy. Yes. You know the word. The word say say I'm healed. I'm, healed. I'm, healed. I'm strong. I'm strong. See? Well, yeah. See how good job he is? So, so if your situation didn't change, the problem was not your words. I talked to this side group. So if your situation didn't change, the problem is not your words. Because your words were very clear. The problem is you didn't believe what you were saying yourself. Yes, that's it. You got to be able to speak that thing and believe in your heart. And ye shall have them. Whatever you say, it's going to work out. It's going to manifest. Can I get an amen? Amen. It's not, the, the barrier here is not whether or not God will perform. The barrier here is what's happening in our heart. So, so, so what we have to do, people of God, is to increase our faith Amen. so that we can fix our heart. Yeah. Fix what we believe in our heart. Yeah. Now, faith comes by hearing. And hearing... Are y'all with me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Faith comes by hearing. hearing. And hearing by the word of God. But the problem we have is that we're, we're hearing God, but we're not hearing God. Mm. Mm. We hear God, mm. but we don't hear God. Right. That's it. Have, have you ever, I know a lot of you all are happily married and so forth like, but you remember, you remember there was somebody that said that they love you, 
Amen. Mm -hmm. And when they said it, you heard them say it, mm -hmm. but you were thinking that so and so. Mm -hmm. I almost said a different word. Oh. Right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> They so full of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They saying the right words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they don't mean it. Mm -hmm. Nobody, that ain't happened to y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all mm -hmm. yeah, don't know about that happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You hear them saying, they saying all the good stuff. Yeah. And the whole time you saying, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'll just wait and see. Because in your heart, you don't believe it. Amen. Or in some cases, in your heart, you know it's a lie. Amen. That means you didn't have faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, what, and what's a terrible shame mm. is that God is so unfaithful. God is unfaithful. Yeah. No. He's so faithful that, so unfaithful. That when he speaks things to you, you doubt them. Yes, I do. I mean, you know, he's so unreliable. There's no reason for you to believe that if he said it, he would perform it. And that's unfortunate. Yes, he, he has such a bad track record. Often he lets you down. <laughs> and so I understand why it is that you are not so prone to jump at every word that he speaks. Because what if he doesn't come through? Yes. In church right now, Carolyn, it sounds good. It makes sense. Oh, I know that's right. Amen, Apostle. That's right. Have faith in God. That's all I got to do. I'm, I believe God. You ain't got to tell me. Yeah, and I know that's right. I don't know what's wrong with them people. Amen. But if I, if, I, if I step into your life right now, there's some things right now that you're struggling with. There's some things right now that you have fear about. Amen. That God has already spoken of. Amen, Amen Apostle. Amen. And there's some things that God has already said. Amen. He's already promised. He's already uh, uh, cursed the tree. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you're still not sure if it's going to work out. Mm -hmm. yeah. you you hoping at best mm -hmm. that everything's going to be all right. Mm -hmm. And God is saying, why don't you believe me? Mm -hmm. I could imagine, I could imagine Jesus right now being with you at the fig trees of your life. Watching, watching you be amazed and surprised at the things that he's doing at the fig trees of your life. And while you're shouting at your fig trees, he's perplexed. He just doesn't understand why it is that you don't believe what he says. Right. Why is it that you still have doubt in your heart that he'll do what he says? I'm glad. I'm glad that he kept his promise. Concern. I'm glad that he that it played out like he said it would. Mm -hmm. Because if he didn't actually do everything that he said, you'd really struggle with faith. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But here we have a God mm -hmm. that has never failed. Amen. Amen. He's never fallen short in one promise. Amen. There's not one place in the history of history mm -hmm. that he has not come through. I challenge you to trust in his word. Mm -hmm. Trust in what he said. Trust in what he spoke. If he said it, he'll do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have faith in God. Mm -hmm. That's my prayer for you today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Come on, give God a hand.